everybody we are back with another review and today i got another installment in my survival saturday series so without further ado let's hop right into this review and let's check out this 20 dollars survival kit that i picked up off ebay so this is supposed to be like a 30 in one or something like that 30 or 31 in one um survival kit so we'll see what is in this thing it's supposed to be all inclusive and not only is it supposed to be all inclusive but it's all supposed to be pretty functional, so we'll see. Let's let's see what we got in the box from eBay. So, I mean, there are sometimes, what is that, a spider? Weird, it's like a little, a little spider hanging down. Um, sometimes you get some weird stuff on eBay. We got that stuff, and very interesting shine so let's see the bottom here so we got 39 fluid ounces not for hot liquid so i guess this is just a straight up canteen it did say canteen so i'm good on that because it did say it was a canteen again not something that i necessarily would maybe use um this kit i just wanted to see what kind of value we're going to get here on ebay for 20 dollars survival kit i mean that's kind of so far we got a bottle so we got a 39 fluid ounce bottle, which is pretty decent, I guess. And there is, I guess, everything down in there. So when I saw it, it was all laid out. And then they just kind of showed the bottle. So I didn't really know it was all kind of it's all kind of tucked in there, I guess. I'm trying to look down in there. It looks like this blanket. I'm gonna get that out. Maybe I need to take other stuff out. Alright, there's that. We've got that. What else is in there? What is that? What the hell is that? All right, interesting. I don't know how they got some of this stuff in there. There's that, and what else is in here? There's the emergency blanket. That yeah, doesn't look like there's anything else in there, but so you have this water bottle, which has a pretty wide mouth, which isn't that bad, actually. But um, it says BPA-free plastic. Again, who knows, you know what I'm saying, uh, drinking out of that. But it's better than nothing, I guess you could say. It's it's something. First thing we got in here is one of these Mylar blankets, which most of you should be familiar with. These are like the standard emergency blankets you can get. So, Yeah. Mylar blanket and it's 52 by 84, which I think is like a full size bed size sheet. So that's pretty big. You can probably use this for a tent if you wanted to. Waterproof, reusable, retains heat in cold environments, reflects sun and heat for cooling and cold and uh, hot climates, and a reflective surface for high visibility. So you, this could be, I guess, also part of one of the things. Maybe I don't know if this was listed, but yeah, you could use this, I guess, as a signaling. A signaling surface as well but yeah tent i imagine or a blanket you could definitely probably wrap two people up in this so um, that's pretty dope at least straight out the gate that's pretty cool now it looks like what else was in here we got some coffee so this is a what is this it's one single serving pour packet add eight ounces of fluid uh hot water stir and enjoy so don't put this in your canteen i guess but it looks like it's some kind of instant coffee i don't know in regards to how much caffeine's in this, doesn't really have it labeled, but it just says pure instant coffee. Uh, Nestle, Switzerland, labeled, yeah, not labeled for re resale, so um, that's probably why it doesn't have the caffeine on here. But I was curious to see how much caffeine was actually in that, because that's probably what that's for is a little bit of a pick me up when you're on, on the way. So this was the cordage that was in there. Let's see. I mean, not the best, I guess you could say, but it's cordage. I mean, you could definitely tie stuff probably up with this. Let's see. Uh, you could tear it. I just, I mean, I just put basic minimal pressure on there, but I mean, I guess it would work as a binding for binding certain things together. Uh, maybe with enough of it, you probably you know, wouldn't have a tear like that because there'd be enough tensile strength if there was enough of it. But 
Um, yeah, I mean, uh, not that great on the cordage, but you know, it is, it is cordage, right? Next we have this fire starter, this fire steel, whatever it is. We got the, whatever they called it because it had a brand on it, but the ferrocene rod that's in here, the ferro rod does come with a nice scraper. So that's pretty cool. And then obviously I guess you pop that off so you can actually get to the scraper. You know what I mean? Let's see. There we go. Not too bad. So basically once you get that black scraped off, that's when you can start getting the sparks, but um, you know, not too bad. I mean, every single strike is, is getting me sparks. So this is perfect. Actually, it works pretty good. So the fire steel, that is a, that is a go. That is a, that's a pretty good deal right there. Actually. I mean, those are usually like a couple bucks alone at the store. So just getting that in the kit for 20 bucks isn't too bad either. And I mean, it's not the best quality a little nylon braid. It could have been like paracord or something, I guess, but Again, that's some more cordage right there you have on that. And then, I mean, you get quite a few fires out of this, uh, more than just a little in the pinch type of emergency situation. So I'll open up this multi-tool is what they called it. Then we'll go into this wrap right here. So this is the, um, what was this, 10 and one or something, they said multi-tool. Comes with a little sheath. I guess you could use this for collecting small things or something if you're out foraging or you're trying to collect something I don't know small I guess you could use that as that's like a little pouch and then we have a can opener which is going to be this part right here the knife is going to be this part which it's decently sharp actually next we got a screwdriver which is this right here you got a flathead and I guess potentially you could do some Phillips with that next we have ruler which is going to be right here and it looks like it's about a two inch ruler straight across. So, and then they broke it up into smaller increments for you as well. Uh, let's see, next on the list we got is the bottle opener, which is gonna be back over here again. Cause again, this is your can opener right here, but this is gonna be the pry for the bottle opener. Four position wrench. So, or I guess the bottle opener also would be right here as well, the big square. Uh, four position wrench would be right here. So I guess you could do some pretty standard size screws there, uh, or nuts I should say, but yeah. Next is gonna be the butterfly screw wrench, which is gonna be, I guess, this part right here. And then we have eight is a saw blade, which actually is probably the most functional part of this whole thing. This, the knife and the bottle openers would probably be used. I mean, I guess you could use some of these, the nut openers and stuff, just as like a basic way to like, kind of be like a breaker bar if you would. Um, the saw blade though does have like two rows of blades, which is kind of cool. So, I mean, this would definitely shred up some wood for you on a small basis so you can build a, a small fire to use your fire starter with. I mean, you could use this also, the saw blade to scrape up and down the bark of a, um, a, a limb or a branch to create some nice uh, tinder for that, those sparks to take hold, build yourself a little bird's nest. Uh, next, we got the direction auxiliary indicator. So that is going to be this one right here in the top right as well. So that could be used, I guess, as a compass uh, as well for this kit. I mean, I get, it's a, so there's, there is a compass in here, but it's a, this will be the redundancy, I guess, of that and the knife as well, I guess. Um, and then it looks like we have a two position wrench. No, this two position wrench is this. This is for the butterfly, uh, the butterfly screw wrench right here. This is the uh, two position wrench. So a smaller uh, wrench for tinier, tinier, intricate nuts. But I do think it would be difficult to use this just based off the fact that you'd have to get this flush up against something and have the grippage to get the nut. And I don't know how much room or clearance you'd have to be able to turn this once a nut's in there. So that's why I say when the most functional things on this particular thing would probably be, I mean, well, the ruler would probably work if you needed a ruler. Uh, the knife blade would be great for cutting up certain things. Opening up a can with the top of this would be great. Bottle opener. I mean, the saw blade is great for, you know, getting tender. And you can also use it to cut up branches. I mean, there's also a way to find direction with this. The wrenches are probably going to be, I think, the worthless, most worthless thing in this. Because, like I said, not only would you have to get the, the you know, 
the plate right up on the nut, but you'd also have to have the clearance to turn this entire thing. But this, I could see it being used as like maybe like a mini breaker bar where you just kind of break the nut free with this and then you use your hand to to finish, you know, unscrewing the nut. But I, again, at the end of the day, there's some there are some things that are useful in here. I don't want to eliminate the whole thing. And then it looks like they say keychain hole, which is going to be that, which I guess you could put this on your keys or you could put it, you know, some paracord around it and dangle it from something or attach it to, this, to the back of your pack or something like that. But... Yeah, this multi-tool, I guess, isn't isn't all that bad, but these are, I, th I mean, a couple dollars maybe. So, I mean, we're, I guess we're kind of sitting, you know, on our way to getting value. So next we got a rubber band, which, I mean, I guess you could use that for something as well. Um, I don't know if that was part of the, I don't think that was listed on the list. So the bandana it was listed on the list. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, there's a bunch of wax. Look at that. <laughs> So when it shipped, I guess some of the wax, let me smooth all this off and get some of this wax off. Some of the wax came out of the candle. So we have a candle. I believe they said it was a four hour burn on this one. So a little candle, which I think you can get these like pretty much anywhere now. They said these at Ikea, the dollar store. So, I mean, knowing it's four hours isn't too bad, especially if you have a whole bunch of those. And plus it's gonna create some warmth for you too. Um, if you have it lit, you can definitely get some warmth from that. All right, well, let's just do this. Let's check out the bandana first because then I can lay this flat. So we got this super sheer. I mean, this is like the cheapest bandana ever. I mean, you could see through it when I put it up over the camera. So this is like the cheapest bandana ever. Look at that. You could almost see 100% through it. So I straight out the gate, what this would be great for uh, would be like filtering water, I imagine, but then I don't know if the dyes from this would leach off into the water. Um, this could probably be used to cover yourself from getting a you know, sunburn on your head. I mean, you could put it around your neck, maybe to keep warm, because I believe this is, what is it, some kind of blend? It feels like a blend. No, it's 100% polyester. So there's no cotton in this whatsoever, which sucks, because I think it was advertised that it was a part cotton bandana. So I don't know. Uh, let's see, what else did we get in this little kit? We got the coffee. We'll line everything up here so we can kind of check everything out. All right, we got a razor blade. Or actually, I'll put the rubber band there. We got a straight razor blade. Beep. Is that gonna... Just a simple straight razor blade, which could be used for a lot of things. Um, but yeah, let me actually slide that back in there. Just so I don't grab it by mistake later on down the road. All right, there we go. We got some twine or sewing, sewing string. Interesting how that is in there. But yeah, we got some green sewing string for like extremely light gear repair. Um, yeah, and here's the compass that I was talking about. A little button compass uh, that way is north so that it's at least accurate right now I mean there's nothing interfering with it so I have no idea um, but yeah so anyway here what is next on the list here we got two band-aids some curated band-aids let's check these out what kind of band-aids is this? Kind of, oh not too bad it's a fabric band-aid and it's got a little camo pattern on it. So they're going with the theme here. A little gauze pad looks like it's a decent sized pad. And it looks like it has some nice surface area around the little pad there. So it'll stick all the way around to cover the wound. But it's a fabric one, which isn't bad. So it's going to be partially water resistant right there too, which is good. And then these are the needles, which are extremely tiny. I thought they were a little bigger than that. All right, it's taped closed. Yeah. All right. Interesting. So we got a little wax envelope too to do some stuff with, I guess. Okay, let's just get all these out of here. Are they all the same size? Um, it looks like it. So here's these needles. They look like they're all the same size. So here's the needles right here. 
So it's just a small, very small eyelet sewing needle, which, yeah, they all look about the same size. So they're all the same size, which is, I guess, good. So there's some redundancy in this. Um, again, light gear repair, I guess you could say. With this, you couldn't use the uh, cordage that they included to sew with this because it wouldn't fit through the hole. But they at least included a companion spool of sewing stuff for light gear repair. I mean, you could do something useful with it for sure. I mean, it's definitely not totally useless. So then let's see what else we got here. We got the knife that they included, which is this blade right here. Oh, uh, it's all folded. So I've seen these and heard of these before, these credit card knives. I've just only seen like Chinese sellers selling these, so I guess somebody bought these in bulk. I'll probably bought all this stuff in bulk. Hmm. Yeah, not too bad. I mean it's tight, that's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely tight. It doesn't feel like it wants to like unfold in my hand. Blade's not too bad either. I don't know, really know. It's sharp. I don't really know what all you could possibly do with this except for self-defense. But I, mean, I guess you could do some light light work with it. I wouldn't recommend using like heavy load, like carving wood or anything like that. Um, I would probably, I mean, I guess this kit, the way it's set up, let me put the blade away first. I would say the way that this... Oh, actually, screw it. Let's leave the blade out. Um, yeah, doesn't doesn't go to together that bad either, especially when it's put away. Um, again, I don't know if you want to walk around with this in your pocket or anything, and then you have to unfold it and press it down and make sure it's firmly sealed on there. But I would say, like any other like light light tinder work or anything, I would probably use this saw blade for, and then this other knife um, on the multi tool, so you don't like have to put too much wear on that. And let's see the last thing that we got in this kit, which is a twofer. This is the pencil that they gave me, which is just cut in half. So there's that. And then there's this tape on there. So we got duct tape on here. Uh, I couldn't tell you how much is on there. I don't remember what they had in the ad for the duct tape, but I mean, 20 feet, maybe 12 feet. I don't know, 15 feet, somewhere around there. It's definitely more than 10 foot on here. I mean, look, just looking at it. But it's not too much, but I mean, enough to do the job, I guess, if you just need it straight out the gate. So we got a pencil with the duct tape on the outside. So I don't know, 20 bucks, I'd say probably a good deal on this, to be honest with you. Probably a good deal. I mean, there's some useful stuff in here for sure. I mean, there's the duct tape is definitely going to be useful for me. I, needles, I would say probably, I mean, aren't going to be very useful for me with this cheap thread. I think this is a little... A little cheap they could have probably done maybe one or two a little bit better needles in this thing the threads nice I mean it's def definitely difficult to get thread out in the in the wild or someplace where you, if you need it to do a, a short repair or something on your backpack or something on your person um, so maybe this will just work together just for that purpose right there but I wouldn't use it for anything else I guess you could say we got some band-aids for some light first aid which isn't bad um, to have two of those because again you might just use one, I guess, so two isn't too bad on that. The compass is a small button compass, which again, will tell you a directional, you know, bearing for you, which, you know, will help greatly, especially if you're, you know, trying to get somewhere uh, from where you're at. So that'll help you for sure. Uh, next, we got this folding knife, which is a credit card folding knife and decently sturdy, uh, something I, I you could do some light duty work with. But other than that, um, you know, it wouldn't be like an everyday, an EDC type of a thing. It's more like a light duty knife, maybe a disposable type setting or something used for like self-defense purposes only um, for close quarters combat or something like that. So you got that credit card knife, which I guess it does serve its purpose if it's used for its intentionality. And then we have a straight razor blade right here, which just, uh, you know, has a multitude of things you could do this with. Do with this, you could use it for surgical needs. You could use it for cutting up food. Um, if you'd like, it's, you know, definitely got some purposes and the redundancy of the knives. we got one, two, three knives in here, basically, uh, really is nice because, you know, that's something that's good for a kit. So I guess kit wise, they at least covered a lot of these bases. We have a rubber band, 
which could be used for a multitude of things. Of course, uh, they, some of the people call these ranger straps too, the, uh, the bands like that. And then uh, we got a bandana, which isn't cotton, which is what I thought it did say in there. I thought it was a, a blend polyester and cotton, but this appears to just be 100% polyester uh, bandana. So there's that. So a few things they kind of fell short on, like the um, bandana for sure, because I would like it to be cotton because then it can absorb some water, especially if you're in a hot environment. The, the water from your sweat will be absorbed into the bandana, which will cool you off. You could put it on your forehead or around your neck and get cooled off just by your own uh, perspiration. So the polyester is not going to hold so much water. It's just kind of kind of repel it like a plastic would. But anyway, next we got a Mylar blanket, which was a little bit thin when I checked it out. Where's the seam at? Here it is. It's a very thin blanket, um, but I mean, you can almost see through that blanket as well, just like we looked through the bandana. But it's a large size, so it's definitely enough for you to wrap your entire person and maybe someone else in that and get you know snuggled up for warmth, or you could build a temporary shelter out of it which is nice using some of your cordage. You can pitch an A-frame tent, which is nice on that. That's pretty dope. And then you also have, the next thing is gonna be your fire starter, which you saw, um, you know, obviously, you know, it scrapes, scrapes across, so it's got a nice little lanyard for that. And again, if you put it at a distance, I imagine, yeah, you could still, you could still get a, a nice scraping even without having to do it. But the way they had it when they shipped it to me, it was like right up on it. So uh, we got that now, but like I said, it, once you get the black scraped away, just then, you, then you're then you able to actually get the sparks that you need. So keep that in mind when you're going through that. Next, we got some coffee, Taster's Choice Blend. Um, doesn't say how much caffeine's in this. I imagine it's a mid-range because it says house blend. So I imagine it's some kind of mid-range caffeine. But this might be, so it's for eight ounce serving. Uh, this might be something that will get you going, I guess. So this is something that I saw that was in there, which I thought was actually a really neat pack in for that. So I'm glad they included that. Uh, the candle that we have here is a small little tea light candle, which you can pretty much get anywhere. So when it comes to like value, um, so far the things that probably would hold the value in this would probably be like the, the maybe the knife, the Mylar blanket, the fire starter, the duct tape, because duct tape's expensive too, so I'm sure that's probably like maybe a dollar's worth of duct tape, maybe, I don't know. Um, the cordage isn't that great. It's actually straight garbage, because you can like rip it. So yeah, I don't know how great that would be uh, for binding or helping you build a temporary structure, but it definitely would help you build a, an A-frame tent with that. So I mean, I guess that is its intended purpose, so. Next, we have this survival multi-tool, which does have some nice stuff on here. So all in all, I mean, you got some good stuff in this kit to help you in, you know, many situations that you could be getting in, or at least it kind of draws a line through the scatter plot of situations you could be getting in and having at least something in this kit that could help you out, which is the main reason why I picked this one up, because for 20 bucks, I wanted to see if they were going to send me what they actually had in the picture. And this is pretty accurate. Like I said, the bandana was off. The Mylar blanket I thought would have been a little bit higher, um, you know, thickness, a little bit higher uh, quality, I guess you could say, Mylar blanket. But again, $20 survival kit. So, um, you know, and you also got a water bottle that's got like a chameleon paint job on it, which is going to stick out like a sore thumb in the wild with this. Um, but it's 39 fluid ounces. The inside isn't chameleon, so I guess that's good news. So you're not going to be drinking all that stuff that leaches in there. Uh, 39 fluid ounces, that'll, I mean, that's about half to a quarter of half to about 30 30 percent of like your daily intake of water so you know what i mean that's three of those in one day would be pretty good so that's a good indicator too is you can like figure out how much water you need uh, just by drinking three of those you know if you're out in the wild somewhere you need to get somewhere you can at least stay hydrated while you do that um looks like there wasn't any food in this one for sure when um you look at the ones online some of the ones that offer food are more upwards of the $50 range. So I wonder how much, you know, money people are usually willing to spend on these survival kits. So I picked something on the lower end because I assume a lot of people would probably just scoop something like this up to throw in their car. Now, if you did scoop this up and to throw it in your car, it seems like there would be a lot of stuff in here that you could definitely use um, if it was something like a car, car situation. Would I put this in a bug out bag and like have my life depend on all the stuff in this kit? 
Probably not. No, I would pick different stuff and better stuff to put in my kit. This would literally be something that if I was to buy something to this quality caliber, this would be just simply something you would you would just throw this bottle with all this gear in your trunk and then you know just leave it leave it back there and just know that it's there that you have all this stuff available and you can even like add stuff to this because i mean it does it does have more room in here i don't know how i don't know how they got the blanket in without just like straight up like crunchy rolling it and then dropping it in there but um it does have more it did have more room in there so that's a good thing too that you could still add stuff to this kit like if there's a few things that maybe you wanted to add so i would recommend it i i would maybe change out like the bandana and other things in here i'd probably you know upgrade like the knife and like the mylar blanket i'd probably put something else in here but uh, maybe even a shower curtain would be better than this so anyway let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this 20 dollars survival kit off ebay is this something that you would pick up what would you add to this kit if you had this kit um what do you think of the quality of stuff in here i mean again i'd say average to below average on the quality of stuff that's in here but like i said if it's something that's in your trunk it ain't gonna hurt to have it with you i mean you could have better stuff in it you could upgrade the stuff in here to better stuff but at a bare minimum this stuff would would get you by for a little bit which is which is i guess what the whole point of this kit was for an economical 20 dollars kit so let me know down in the comments below would you buy this kit um and what do you think about this one and all the items that were included in this one if you like this video give it a thumbs up one more content like this subscribe for more because i do reviews every single day so look out for that and have a great rest of your day